gonna keep the Opera Soloist just because the removal is pretty good. I could play it turn four. Uh, and then I don't want to really keep Siphon Souls. I don't want to keep that many super expensive things. You're good turn one. Either A, it contests the board, or B, it um it allows me to just life tap for free, which is fantastic. Most likely, though, they're going to play like a small Divine Shield minion. This is going to get rid of the Divine Shield. They're going to hero power, and everything's going to go great. Or they play nothing. You play Void Virtuoso, though. Still fantastic. Into life tap. This whole Im your hero's immune thing feels really weird to me when you also have things that want you to take damage. Like, take fatigue damage, and then it'll do a thing. But life tap doesn't really matter. Arson Accusation also kind of doesn't do well with the Virtuoso, but that's not that big of a deal. Worst case scenario, I can kill off another thing and, and Drain Soul like Bannerman. Oh. Interesting. Uh, let's see here. Life Tap. Get the Imp. Honestly, I'm down to just coin out the Imp. It's a 3-3, which means it's able to fight off these things relatively easily. We can double drain soul if they kill this off and I start taking damage. We have arson accusation to kill off a bigger minion if necessary. Like, as far as my hand goes, it's it's extremely good right now. Any plans on playing a shaman deck today? No. Like I said earlier, I was trying to make a shaman deck for like an hour. And it has no good playable decks. It's got totem shaman, which has always been fairly gimmicky. I think it has potential now that it has the 6 mana 5-5 five five and it has the icer back or whatever his name is, but... Very, very iffy on that one. And then it has a Ragnaros combo one that's kind of cool, but also it just doesn't feel like it's that good. Flash heal to draw a card. I would have flash healed myself, honestly, because I can kill that off with Drain Soul regardless. Then we're going to go Life Tap, Drain Soul. We lose very little. And I would rather play this to get more imps than Crescendo right now. The light Okay, it's just a 3-3, three, three, a 5-mana 3-3. Three, three. Yes, it pulls out something bigger, but I'm not that worried. Let's go the Conductor. Take 2 Fatigue Damage, it's fine. I mean, I guess I could have played Opera Soloist, but I don't really think that would have been good. I still have, like I said, 2 Arson Accusations to kill off some really big minions if necessary. And worst case scenario, I'll be able to- oh my word, that is a big, big dude. As a big, big, big Elec. But luckily, we have all the removal in the world, so... It doesn't really matter. It really does not matter at all. Does it say all minions or just enemy? It says all enemy minions. Fair enough. Rin, interesting. Don't really need it, though. We're gonna play um, Arson Accusation. Then Hero Power. It kills off my things, but they were gonna die anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We can go Spirit Bomb if I want. We can go Spirit Bomb, I guess, if I want. But no, I'm just gonna play the, uh, I'm gonna play the, the Harp. Job's done. I needed to play the Harp after, because I wouldn't have actually taken damage to trigger the Arson Accusation, so... As of right now, if he's just on the board as a 3-3, I don't care. If that makes sense. Also, I don't even know if I want to play Rin. Because <laughs> I don't want to get rid of some of my good cards. A okay, fair enough. I can spirit bomb that and just see what I need to kill. Spirit bomb, see what we need to kill. What does it pull out? Hoping it's like a Neptune or something. A little bit of a bummer for sure. But still not the end of the world, right? Let's just heal up a little bit here. Uh, Emulate sounds way better in my opinion. I don't care if those minions are on the board. They're really, really small and aren't going to do that much damage to me. This will be a fight to stay alive. This will be a fight to stay alive. I'm hoping that they have a ton of big minions in their hand and they're not able to like actually utilize them. But who knows? Maybe not. Maybe they are. Maybe they aren't. I don't know. Hoping for Twisting Nether or Gigafin soon. I run two of them. I think possibly I could run more. Oh. Sure. Their hero has Divine Shield. Doesn't really affect me at all. Okay, give us a hand recruit plus three plus three. That is fine, I guess. Oh shoot, if I, I still can't play Arson Accusation, unfortunately. We can go dragged below. They lose their divine shield with this, and then I can play you. No, I think I'd rather build a board here actually. Dragged below into this. 
they get a curse, doesn't matter, they're gonna lose the wind shield, doesn't really do anything. Um, and then I guess Crazed Conductor. It's not the greatest play in the world, but it'll do. We don't take the damage, but now we can play Arson Accusation if they end up getting something out. And all we have to do now is try to draw for Siphon Soul, Twisting Nether, Gigafin, things of that nature. That sucks, the Divine Shield is just gonna eat your curses. I mean, yeah, but the curses aren't the main win condition. It's definitely a solid win condition. It's helpful. It helps get some extra chip damage and then it allows a couple of big minions or boards like this to maybe finish them off. But it's not like the main win condition a lot of the time. Okay. Pulls out Neptalon, love to see it. Got Rush, he's gonna kill off a couple of things here. I'm going to hit their 6-6 six, six with my 3-3, three, three, and then probably go Crescendo and this. It should wipe the board entirely. Defile? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So we're gonna go Drain Soul here, and then it's Defile every single time. One, two, three, four, five. This barely lives, but that's fine. And then I guess I can even go Arson Accusation and just kill it if I need to. Possibly just kill it with this, actually. And save Arson Accusation for a, a bigger card later on. Um, it could also be Rin. Because I'm not super connected to any of these cards right now. Yeah, we'll play Rin. I like Opera Solaris and Arson Accusation, but their 6-2 is fairly low. I still have a good amount of HP. I feel fairly okay right now. Losing Crescendo and the Opera Solarist, and like, I don't care about this. I don't care about this. This is decent. This is actually really good at 4 damage, actually. Um, this is less useful now that we have Crescendo being as good as it is, and then Arson Accusation is fine. Like, and they're probably going to burn at least one card. The light. It's fine. Kangor comes down. They're only going to pull out some more cards. They draw two. And then hopefully they don't lose one of these. We get a Cultist. Cool. We lose the Imp and the Cultist, which is fine. And then we lose several really good cards there. But they lost several good cards as well. I lost the Cultist and the Opera Solarist and Imp, but that's not that big of a deal. Um, We can go Boom and then Arson to kill off whatever their big thing is. They get a... okay. I don't really care about that, actually. I honestly do not care about that. I can say that with 100% certainty. Let's play this and start healing up a little bit and drawing some cards. Losing Siphon Soul does suck. I will say that much because I need to be able to kill off their big minions, but they've lost most of their other big minions already. Uh, right now, just hold on for a week. Yeah, yeah. Don't craft anything or do anything right now. It's, it's all going to be, it's all going to take a while to figure out what's good and what's not, but, but we'll figure it out together. Crescendo for four damage. I mean, I am starting to take a good chunk of damage here, which is not great. Let's see what we discover off of you. Crescendo? Crescendo sounds very good. Because we can go crescendo into crescendo. And it's a lot of damage. And then all that's left for them is some little... Yeah, yeah, crescendo into crescendo is quite insane. Crescendo, let's see what, it gets, what gets pulled out. Take four, doesn't really matter. I don't actually take the damage. Okay, Crescendo into Crescendo seems significantly less insane now. Uh, I think- oh wait, Arson Accusation doesn't do anything here. That's a good amount of damage, actually. One, two, three, four, five. No, Defile actually does really, really well here. No, Defile I think does really, really well here. And then we'll Light Tap as well. And then one, and then two, and then three, and then the only thing that lives is this, but that's fine, and we heal a little bit more. You got another Crescendo, which is actually not great. They should be running low on, like, big things to play, right? They shouldn't have that many more things that they can do to kill me. Gigafin should be able to wipe the board. They play Kingor again? I mean, I wouldn't blame them, it's what they should do. Muster for battle. Fair enough. Fair enough. The light Fair enough. Sweet. 
Oh, jeez. You know what? I think I'm gonna do this instead. Life tap. I need to take damage in order to kill that off. Does three damage, doesn't really matter. Um, and then we can probably just... I want to heal up with this, actually, and not play Crescendo. Play this, play this, maybe get him to trade into it so I take... No, we need to keep this so we can play that and Crescendo together. But we heal up. Mm, maybe I should have played School Teacher instead, because there are a lot of things I could have gotten, but I didn't want to risk him pumping things up and being able to kill me, because I don't know what the last card in his hand is. I'm hoping it's not a big minion. Oh, it was Feast of Famine? Okay. Hopefully they didn't draw a big minion. I mean, I think Gigafin now is probably still really good. I think Gigafin now would be quite solid. I just need to hope that they don't pull out something really good. Dirty Rat? I think Dirty Rat into Gigafin. Dirty Rat into Gigafin. So that way it doesn't pull anything out if they have it. Nope, nothing happens. Into Gigafin, eat everything, nothing gets pulled out. And now we have a lot of minions on board. Okay, I think we have managed to somehow survive this endless onslaught of giant minions. Which has been insane, by the way. No! No way you're able to kill this. No. My mind is blown. Master for battle. It pumps up that. What else do you have? I'm hoping they're out of resources now. I'm really hoping that it's just done. Fair enough. Fair enough. But that's not that big of a deal. We play... We use this to hit here. Then we're gonna go boom into crescendo. We don't take the damage. We do hero power and then we're gonna heal up. And then we're gonna go face with these. And now we have 100% won the game. I don't know if there's a single card in their deck that can save them. I'm hoping not. Wow, dude, we had to kill so many big minions. Paladin doesn't look strong right now. Are you kidding me? Did you not see what they just did? I had to kill so many. The only reason I'm still in this game is because I burned both of their stoneborn generals. That's like the only reason I'm still in this game right now. They get Divine Shield. Luckily, we have two damage to deal with that. Maybe give them a curse. Possibly. See what you give me. Do I get like dragged below because I don't want to kill off my minions? Wait, is this just lethal? One, two. I'm, my curse is at one, so that's seven, 11, 12, 13. No, that should just be game, right? With Abyssal Wave. I'll take the dynamics, I guess, because why not? Um, two, then this, 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 and then we go Abyssal Wave, and then they die at the start of next turn. Oh my goodness, that was such a slugfest, my god. Um, I think I kind of want to keep the Symphony of Sins. I think I'd rather have it than not have it, because it's really, really, really strong. But at the same time... I think it's too slow, same with that. Cause Paladin's gonna be aggressive, right? Paladin's gonna be playing minions, they're gonna be doing a lot of stuff, we're going to need removal. So even though, yes, it's really good, and if I draw it naturally, great, I don't really want it in my opening hand. Gigafin, also a very slow card. Life tap turn two, play this turn three to trade in a little bit. Turn four, possibly nothing actually. Turn five would probably be the opera soloist. Okay, I'm fine with that. We have two Opera Soloists. That's really, really good. And we have a Clergy for some healing. So this is probably going to be pure, fairly aggressive. First time you experience Steam Tony car uh, combo. Yes. It seems absolutely ridiculously broken. And I'm not just saying that because I lost. I'm saying it because for seven mana, you just win the game. Like, there's nothing the opponent can do. And since you're Warrior, even though you're not as strong as you used to be, you do still have a decent amount of armor and stuff. Like, it's, it's still doable. Dragged below. Nah, we'll play this. We'll play dragged below next turn. We'll play dragged below next turn um, in order to kill off a couple of things here. You know, I was thinking about not making a 40 card deck, but I think it's so funny to have this be a 40 card deck because you also shuffle more things into your deck with the Symphony of Sins. So you're just like never losing in fatigue. Do I want to Dragged Below the 7-2? Two? 
Do I want to play the Cultist again? I think Dragged Below on the 4-2 makes the most sense to me. And then we're gonna play the Opera Cultist. Or Opera Soloist. Seems weird for me to do that, but I have Opera Soloist into another Opera Soloist. Or if they pump it up a ton to try to protect it, I can just Siphon Soul a massively pumped up minion. How does the new keyword work? The new keyword's Finale. So if it's the last card that you play on your turn... Well, sorry, if it uses up all of the mana at the end of your turn, you get a, um, you get, uh, the effect. So, what this means is, that, where's the, is there a finale card? No, I don't have a finale card, but if I had, say, a card that said, okay, finale, it was like a three mana, three, three, finale, deal three damage, right? So if I life tapped, went down to three mana, and then played it with my remaining mana, and all of my mana was gone, and it was the last card I played, its ability would then trigger. Opera Soloist does just wipe this board though, and it's pretty unfortunate for them. They get a lot of things. They're going to pump up a minion quite a bit, but I don't mind, because we have Siphon Soul to just kill whatever the big minion is. But that's how the new uh, keyword works. If, if I didn't explain well, you can ask me to clarify, but I, I thought I explained it okay. Yeah, they're gonna play like Silverhand Recruit, Silverhand Recruit, another small thing, and then hit with the weapon and pump it up a ton. And then we're just gonna go, boop, Siphon Soul, kill whatever they end up playing. And, uh, this is why we need single tar like good single target removal with Arson Accusation as well as Siphon Soul in this deck, because there are a lot of decks that can get really big min minions all of a sudden. Which is unfortunate. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So we're gonna have to siphon soul this, like I already said. And then I think just pass, like there's no real reason to do anything else. I guess I can hit this so that way it'll die sooner so we can play the Opera Soloist and get it down to one HP. But yeah, they're mostly out of cards and we killed their biggest minions, so I'm pretty, oh. Okay, so they'll draw two cards. I'm gonna have to drag to below, um, that 4-3. I could play Symphony, but the problem with playing the Symphony is that if we don't end up getting the card that I like specifically want, it could be really bad. No, I think we just play Soloist. No, the Soloist just kills off these two things really well, and if they play another small mini- oh. That's a lot of card draw. That's a lot of card draw that they got. That was really good for them, actually. File 1, 2, no, it's not gonna do enough. We're just gonna play the Opera Soloist. Um, and I- I want to life tap, but I also don't think I should because I'm getting kind of low. No, I'll life tap. I think that's the last life tap that I'm going to do. We got a drain soul, which is nice, but I think that's the last life tap I'm going to do because I can't risk going any lower. I mean, I'm already basically at 12 HP. They drew four cards in that one turn and generated a 5-5. That was pretty solid. I don't think Paladin looks particularly strong, but I don't think it looks particularly weak either. I will probably play... Um, Gigafin, I think, this turn to kill off everything. A red sun I guess Defile could also be really good. No. Hmm. Dirty Rat. Hopefully we can pull the Countess. If we can pull the Countess, that's incredible. We know that they just drew it. Cool. Okay, so now I have to figure out a way to kill the Countess. So we need to go to one, two... Dragged below that to three. Dragged below this to three. So it's gonna be one, two. Dragged below three, four. And then they're just going to lose, right? The file is perfect here. Boom, boom, boom. And they aren't able to do anything and my minion lives. Dirty rap, baby! We still have a taunt. We have a couple of ways of healing. Unbelievable indeed. I'm hoping that they don't have um, a way of killing me though. That would be pretty unfortunate. They draw a couple of cards here. It's not really that big of a deal. I think I'm going to go the Symphony. Oh, okay, maybe not. Maybe we have to go Gigafin actually. It might be a Gigafin angle. It might be a Gigafin angle. Because I don't think they can kill it directly. And even if they can, we can still do stuff. It's fine. This is fine. They lose a curse. They take a little bit more damage. It's fine. 
I just, I couldn't kill up everything, because I could have, I guess, played Crescendo, and then Drain Sold 1, and then also played Sun Flurry. But I don't want to play this, because doing 6 damage to my own face would actually get me within, like, range of dying here. Okay. Okay. Okie dokie. And it looks like we have lethal, right? I am pretty sure that we have the lethal. Cool. Boom, heal up just for good measure. And then go face. Just in case I miscounted. There's no way that I did, but just in case. We also have one damage here and more damage here. We're chilling. Against a warlock. Okay, so... I... Honestly think that they could be going some sort of imp build. I've seen one or two of them not too long ago where they go like a mix of imp as well as the new uh, One of these cards, but I'm going a 40 card just hard control deck. So I Think we should be okay. Also if they life tap one or two times they're gonna just play MLA and just end their careers That's the goal. Our goal is to end their freaking careers life tap once we get a cultist I can play the cultist right away turn three and then they probably don't really care about it. In fact, they might use it to their advantage. Coin out what? Coining out... The coin being gone is nice because it means that they're less likely to do some, some sneaky stuff later on. Let's play a 3-4. Uh, a Let's play the 3-4. It's fine. We'll play the emulate next turn. Hopefully they life tap and also draw a couple more cards here. Then I'm going to get a big, big, big emulate. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. They get rid of the security, but that doesn't matter. We play Emily, and we're going to get rid of so many of their cards. They're going to life tap and go to 10. What are you, crazy? Oh, I guess they don't overdraw, actually. Well, we Emily. We hit him in the face. Hopefully, we get rid of at least, like... Even if we just get rid of, like, three or four cards, it's a big W for us. It is a huge W. Even if we just get rid of a handful of cards. Then we're using it early enough to where they probably can't play it too many of their, like, big, big cards. The harp, fair enough. Maybe they are able to use it. Maybe they are. I mean, they trade that away so they don't lose anything. That's fine. School teacher. I mean, it could just be you and then, and then, and then life tap, I guess. So we can start going through our deck a little bit faster. I don't really care about that very much at all. Arson accusation doesn't really matter. We'll just go face. I mean, at this point, we're going to outval... Again, literally, they lose, like, two car... Oh. Oh. Okay, that's fine. We kill this off. And then we... We have to kill this off with this. And then we go Arson Accusation. Then we're going to go Arson Accusation. Life Tap. And pass again, I guess. That's not bad. They're going to resummon it, though, which is really unfortunate with Reborn. Um, and I'm really not going to have a way of being able to kill that, which sucks. So, like, even though I played... Oh. Okay, wait, that's actually not nearly as good as... as okay. No, that's fine. They lose several cards. They get a big demon with Reborn, but I don't care too much about that. I can kill that off, no problem. Like, that's, that's the least of my concerns. What did they lose here with the Emulate? Hopefully they're not able to play anything else. They lost... The Jailer, Rin, Infantry Reanimator, Resurrect a Friendly Undead, Give Reborn. They should have done that, I think. That's what I would have done, personally. Uh, Siphon, and then just Drain Soul it. Is this a demon or undead, or is it both? It's just a demon. I would have done the other thing to get Thaddeus out there, because, like, it was... No, it was an odd turn. It would have been difficult for them to actually play the game, that's fair. Dragged below seems decent here. I'm trying to think about what else I want to do. Do I want to take fatigue damage? No, not really. I'll play you. Maybe if we can get just like any sort of little bit of damage. Anybody? If I discarded a card, I have not discarded a card. Have I discarded a card? No. Um, you give rush to basically nothing. You and eh, this will draw me a card possibly. So let's just, let's just take some damage, give him drag below. We're gonna have to start life tapping basically every single turn, I think. I, I wholeheartedly believe that we're gonna- Oh no, the curse heals him! I forgot about the interaction, shoot! 
I mean, at the end of the day, it's two damage, so like eventually the life tap will also end up doing some damage to them, I guess. It's 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 a net the same. No, I lost an emulate, doesn't matter. Dragged below kinda sucks. Defile kinda sucks. Crescendo's annoying. Opera soloist isn't that important. Okay, so we lost several curse cards, but I'm not super upset about any of that. Let's um life tap. Again, life tap basically every single turn. Mortal Coil to draw another card, and then I guess plays a cool. It would heal me up like three. It's not a big deal, but it's something. We get a Twisting Nether in case things go crazy. And we're just trying to get bigger minions on the board. I mean, they can always resummon Thaddeus at this point, which would suck. That's so difficult for me to have to deal with, but I'll be able to deal with it, I think. We just have to life tap every single turn. And the fact that they lost the Jailer is huge. I don't exactly know what their plan was. I guess play Jailer, remove their deck, and then somehow... Oh, they were gonna make themselves immune with Malganus. Would be my guess. Arson Accusation kills that. Oh, that's... That's a big minion as well. Um, Sure, we'll go boom, Arson Accusation. And then we'll life tap, and then that dies. And then we'll see what else we draw here. Okay. Symphony. Let's burn their cards, hopefully. Remove the top, deal six to all characters, no thank you, and then that's not great. Remove the top six cards of my opponent's deck. What do they lose? Drain Soul. Okay, so useless, useless. That's actively useless. That's fine. That's bad. That's, that's, okay, that could be a combo Any card, questions? I guess. Wait, how much damage do I have? 10, 11. Do I want to just go face here? Because all they have is a 9, and I have good removal. Yeah, I think I just go full face here. I don't think that they kill me here. All I need to do is draw one more curse and have them not heal. They got rid of several curses, though, which could be a problem. But we have two Abyssal Waves, so it might be okay. I'm trying to think. We, we burn some pretty useless stuff. Deal 60. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Well played, Dan. Well played. Dane, Dan, Dane.